Uh, our next speaker is Peter Corrigan, my colleague at NUI Galway, and Peter is going to help us, I think, with the challenging task of making sense of the vast amount of text that comes back from us, to us rather, from comments of large-scale surveys. So over to you, Peter. Thanks very much, John. This is a very small experiment, uh, and uh, it took place over an elapsed time, uh, you know, since the call for these papers, these talks, uh, uh, was actually made. Um, it describes um, you know, what we've done with uh, applying a, s a sentiment analysis to LibQual comments. If you're uh, familiar with LibQual, you know that it's a web-based tool uh, to um, evaluate uh, li library service quality. And uh, there's a statistical element to it, and there's obviously the comment element to it. The comment being uh, sort of the meat on the bones that gives detail to uh, a lot of the specifics uh, with respect to you know, what the statistics actually tell us. So, um, the, sorry, the, the, excuse me, the, uh, so the, the, uh, the goals for this particular talk were to uh, uh, maximise the value from the comments themselves, uh, to track the efficacy of initiatives to address issues at, at granularity that we don't see necessarily uh, from the statistics themselves. So uh, the, the, the statistics, uh, as, you, as you're probably aware with LibQual, are related around a limited number of questions. And, but, uh, 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 and the dimensions which LibQual actually uh, addresses are, are, you know, they're, they're pretty, they're not as granular, granular as we might like. Uh, so it doesn't enable us to actually track what we've done on the ground in specific areas. And that's what sort of we're trying to do here. Um, we also uh, try to develop um, uh, a, 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 a repeatable process uh, so that when it comes to next year's uh, comments, we're going to spend 15 minutes doing the analysis, uh, um, uh, at, at least the sentiment analysis end of it. So, and if it takes more than 15 minutes, we, we fail. We want this to be done quickly and, and generate a quick report so that uh, um, we can take appropriate action without uh, spending vast amounts of staff time analysing the comments uh, <coughs> uh, 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 in individually. So uh, the final goal was, you know, get it done quickly. Uh, nothing concentrates the mind like a deadline like today, unfortunately. <laughs> So, um, just some caveats about the whole thing. Uh, it, it wasn't a clinical trial uh, of sentiment analysis. It's not, uh, uh, haven't been particularly scientific. That, those clinical trials of sentiment analysis, they, they've been done. And, you know, they've, they've shown results around 80% uh, correct, as opposed to, with humans, around 79% correct. This sort of work was done with the uh, Amazon's Mechanical Turk. Uh, you, you may have come across that. It's sort of an API for humans, whereby humans were uh, given jobs to uh, evaluate uh, particular comments, and multiple humans doing the same comment, and the results were assessed, uh, were measured between the actual comments, uh, or between the assessments, to see uh, uh, how reliable uh, humans were as raters, and they actually uh, came down uh, slightly below the API that we're going to discuss in a minute, uh, alchemy, uh, around one or two percent. Okay, purists may question the methodology. Uh, um, you know, uh, LibQual itself uh, has, uh, you know, a, a lot of theory behind it in terms of, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, the, the, um, the actual theory escapes me. Oh, yeah, grounded theory, of course. Uh, <coughs> um, um, so, uh, 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 excuse me. Uh, so, yeah. So, so LibQual has uh, a lot of theory behind it. Um, and uh, uh, you know, people will question the methodology. Uh, I mean, the sentiment analysis has come from, has come from nowhere. Uh, it's you know we're using the machine to uh, you know to, to to do all the work, uh, and um, you know proceed with caution, shall we say? Okay. Okay. So, uh, what is sentiment analysis itself? It's actually you know it's 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 opinion mining. The history of this, you know, as you're probably aware. The history of artificial intelligence goes back uh, at least to the 1950s, but opinion mining itself uh, you know, has only come to the fore with 
uh, uh, comments appearing online with Web2, for example. There was no necessity to perform uh, sentiment analysis before that. Uh, so from, from, from 1990 onwards, um, um, we've we seen it as, uh, uh, you know, as, as, as a sort of a, as a growing body of literature in that, in that regard. Okay. Bear me for a second. I know this is a lightning talk, but <laughs> there's going to be a, a little bit of pause here. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the, um, at the APIs. So um, the API we're using, or we, we used for this particular experiment was, was Alchemy. It's a, it's a small startup, or was a small startup, that's just been acquired by uh, IBM. And uh, it, it, the uh, Alchemy themselves are going to be incorporated into the Watson project you may have come across. Uh, which is you know, IBM's flagship uh, initiative with regard to uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, you, an API itself, as you're probably aware, certainly in the context of this, it's just a subroutine in the cloud. So you, you write your own uh, code to use it. You call that subroutine uh, 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 using uh, uh, a, a, a toolkit that, uh, that, that Alchemy uh, produce and uh, uh, get back the results. We'll take a look in a minute. Okay, um, now Alchemy themselves are using uh, a, sort of a hybrid approach uh, with regard to uh, performing sentiment analysis in so much as they're using uh, sort of a linguistics approach which in the history of uh, AI started around the 1960s or thereabouts uh, with statistics. The, the linguistic approach is really good for grammatically correct text. Um, um, you know, edited text, but uh, uh, when it comes to slang and so forth, uh, uh, the statistical approach, uh, uh, you know, helps in that regard. And then underneath all of that is this large-scale uh, deep learning technology uh, trained on massive data. So the, the, the way it works is that they, they, they do some initial training on, you know, a fair amount of data uh, uh, using uh, pre-rated pre, uh, uh, material uh, uh, derived, say, using Amazon's Mechanical Turk. And thereafter, uh, they let it loose. Let it, let it loose on as much data as possible. And they're voracious for data. They want data so much as they want our comments. So much so that they're giving us um, the equivalent of 75 euros per month uh, uh, to get our uh, uh, comments. If, if we can supply 30,000 comments uh, per month, they will actually do that for free for us. Okay, okay so uh, these are our comments, or what we have over the last five years or so. Um, uh, so uh, iterations from 2010 to 2015. Um, this is what a libcall comment looks like. Um, some of you will be very, very familiar with that. You notice there's some metadata with respect to who submitted the comment, you know, sort of uh, generic information, uh, age, sex, and so forth. And then the actual text response is what, what the user said. Note the comment ID, we use that uh, to relate uh, um, the, the actual comment to the keywords we take out of that comment. We'll look at that in a moment. So you can perform uh, sentiment analysis on uh, at least on two levels. Uh, on the, the full document, whereby you determine the sentiment of the actual document itself, uh, or alternatively, you can pull out the keywords and try to see what the keywords address and find out what the sentiment is with respect to those particular keywords. So in this particular, this is at, at document level, you can see that the score was 0 0.90 for that particular comment and uh, that it was positive. Okay, so just to remind you again of the comment before we look at the keywords, that's the keyword level result. And jumping into what we actually get back from uh, Alchemy, a, a, st a string of XML uh, where each keyword has been extracted. It's been scored for, 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 for relevance and for the strength of the sentiment that was actually expressed. And you're told whether the, whether the um, comment was negative or positive. The, the range of the scores is from uh, minus one to plus one, uh, a zero uh, being uh, a neutral score, when, where no sentiment has been expressed, or at least no sentiment detected uh, in, the, uh, in, in the actual comment. 
Okay, so we pull, when, when that XML comes back, we split out uh, uh, um, each comment. We take the metadata, you, you might have noticed that was on the actual comment, throw it into a table. Uh, so a table representing each field, uh, discipline, the actual text response itself, age, sex, so forth. Uh, um, and then we add on the data we get from uh, from, from alchemy. So we've got the sentiment score, the polarity where it was uh, positive, negative uh, or neutral, uh, the relevance of that uh, keyword to the entire document itself, the document being just the, the common text, uh, um, the keyword and um, in this sense we, we were sticking in the, the, the year as well. Yeah. Um, so what does this allow you to do? So you can do things like, uh, you know, retrieve the best comments ever, you know, find out which comments were scored the best, say, over the five years, for example. So uh, um, this is at, uh, with, with results at the document level, for example. Uh, so, you know, I mean, we, we've got some wonderful comments and I'm sharing, going to share a couple of them with you. You can see the score there. Um, Okay, so there's three comments. So you, you might be inclined to say, okay, is that it? Uh, um, the really interesting things start happening when we, uh, wh wh when we look at the, um, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Are we out of time? We'll give you another yeah, minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, um, but one more minute. Okay, right, yeah. well, let me very uh, quickly uh, point out that uh, this is strongly correlated uh, with, say, the adequacy gap, for example. One is uh, when we sum the sentiments for each year and uh, log it against the adequacy gap. But also, when we pulled out the keywords, uh, for example, uh, with respect to Wi-Fi, we can see that it's strongly correlated with our experience. And I think this has been backed up uh, uh, by uh, uh, you know, just talking to the domain experts, the people who work in this particular area, how uh, Wi-Fi uh, 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 um, <coughs> was really popular at first, it, from, from the point of view that not so many people had laptops and the, re the response and everything was brilliant. Uh, 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 as more and more devices came on board, it, it, it sentiment fell down because it just wasn't working uh, uh, to where we are. We put in some remediation, of course, and we end up this way. So, I mean, the, the code for this is available on GitHub. Uh, uh, I, I, I better call it, an end, uh, call it an end there, I assume, John. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and uh, please come to me if you, uh, if you want further details. Thanks very much.